Hi friends, you are very welcome to this presentation. We will be considering the structural modeling analysis and as well as design successfully, just like this. Uh, so this is just a security post, okay? A security house. So it has a cantilever just like this, okay? All right, so I want to be navigating to AutoCAD and so we will have uh, the plan just like this in AutoCAD. Okay, so I've already set out the columns positions as you can see. So you can see the distance. This is 8.9 of the length of the security post and then the width is 4.1 meter approximately. Okay, and for this column at this external edges here, yeah, this column is 2 to 5 by 2 to 5. But the internal walls of this house is 150 millimeters and so i have to provide a column sections of 150 so as to match into the wall successfully and then the length is 300 okay just like this so all of these columns here sections are 150 by 300 successfully while these edges columns are 2 to 5 by 2 to 5. So this is what we'll be using in the design successfully. And so we are going to be converting this right away to DXF file successfully. And for us to do that, quickly we will have to highlight all of the structure just like this. After which we will press W on the keyboard and enter. So in this provisions, we will have to check this clickable provisions here where my cursor is and then it will take us to the directory where we will navigate to documents or I go to the desktop and we find a file security out this one. I double click on that. All right. So I'll be saving it with a name. X. Just like this. Okay. For the file type, I'll be using the XF file. Okay because a proto structure actually interpret dss file so i'll be using version 217 you can use any of this there's no problem i can use 213 as well just like this and after we click on save options and then i check my unit instructions is millimeter i click on the ok options so it's been saved in dsf successfully after which i will activate the i break up the structure 2021 version just like this okay so we want to start the importation of the file that we have saved in dsf in autocad all right so for us to do that we need to create a new template for the design so we'll go to the file menu right there in the drop down options menu we will navigate to new project this one click right there so in the new project you see is this a security this uh, house design you can see so are we just uh plus and underscores there and then key in three there all right just like this security design house three just like this okay so for the template the code will be considering we will be using hero code this one for the design successfully all right, so I'll click on the OK options just like this and then give the program some seconds to generate the template for the hero code we selected successfully just like this. So it is done. Here is the hero code template. So we'll be using this template for the design. Now we are going to be importing the DSF file we save in AutoCAD. And so for us to do that, under the building tab right there, you navigate to the DSF import. You click right there once left clicking and then you will have this dsf import dialog just like this so in this import dialog what you need to do at first you have to reset the layers using this one reset layers assignment like this okay so after i must have done that you can also check your unit is very very important your unit you need to set it to the unit of the file you are bringing in the one we bring we are bringing in is millimeter so you choose that okay for the minimum beam length you have this okay and all of this you can leave them at default successfully we'll go straight away to the import type what are we importing 
it is the plan we are importing so the plan is active if maybe you are importing the 3d physical model or the 3d analytical model you will have to select it right away and then you make sure you import what you selected here for for this case for the sake of this lesson we are importing floor plan just like this so we get to select it okay so this one that we have reset have actually reset the layer so just click on the reset layer assignment to have this successfully click on the load dsf file it will take you to your computer we are uh, we navigate to the desktop i found the security file this one and then i uh, will select this one all right i click on open so you see all the layers has been highlighted here and check in this provision successfully i also have walls layers but there's no wall in the security i also have to uncheck this one so that i will have all the grid lines and as well as the columns only successfully click on the import options to get the plan of the project imported after which click on the close options so you will have the plan just like this okay as i said earlier these columns are sections 150 by 300 while these ones are sections 225 by 225 all right so if you zoom closely to it you can see 25 by 25 right there zoom closely to this one you can see 150 by 300 right there all right so after you must have done this the grid line labeling is not in order so we need to relabel the grid line successfully and for us to do that effectively we just have to label the vertical grid lines numerically and then the horizontal grid lines we are going to be labeling it alphabetically so it's going to start from a from the bottom up okay up to the last grid lines in the horizontal uh, uh grid line successfully so i will have to select that just like this after i get this selected like this i will right click and then i click on the property in the property access table dialog just like this i will have to change from nine we are supposed to have a at nine let it be capital activate their cap locked okay and type it a for nine and then the next grid line is a eight so i double click right there and i change that to b all right and then the next one is a7 I double click right there to get that highlighted and then I change it to uh, C all right then the last one is A6 this one okay and this we is going to be D just like this and then I'll have to do double click in another uh, in another rule to activate that successfully after which changing the horizontal grid line successfully click on the close options so now we'll be changing the vertical grid lines numbering to numerically right click and then in the axis table option dialog you will have a and then up to a5 okay so we have a1 so the l1 is supposed to be one so we double click right there in that provisions and key in one the a10 is supposed to be two okay so you key in two all right the a2 is supposed to be three just like that okay the a3 is going to be four right the a11 is going to be five right the a4 right there is going to be six right then the last one which is the a5 is going to be um seven right okay so double click in one of these uh, rows to activate the last one click on closed so this is the first thing we are supposed to do which we have done successfully then the next thing we'll be doing for this project is we are going to be uh setting the uh levels so if you check in the in the other project that uh, we designed i want to show you something there a minute okay so if i should activate that right away uh you will be having a something of this kind so this is the project if you notice we have some levels here and then we have our staircase is also a level okay so we are going to be creating a level if we check within these provisions we are uh we have uh, this our floor level this place okay this place we have the floor level here it is a mass concrete okay this is a mass concrete so this provision is supposed to be having a level all right that provision is supposed to be having a level 
and as well this other provision is supposed to also be having another level this place where we have the landing of the stairway is supposed to be having a level as well and then we will be also be creating a level for this first floor all right we're creating a level for this first floor so we want to start to create a level as first after we must have finished creating levels then we will now start the remodeling so stay tuned and again if you are yet to like the lesson kindly click on the light button and then subscribe so you will be getting a useful lesson of this kind so the last level we are going to be creating is this uh, upper floor level all right we will be creating this upper floor level this one okay so all together we we'll have this one as the first level all right we have this as the second level we have this as the third level and so we have this as the uh, fourth level but i want to make in this structure of say two-story building so that you really understand what we are doing for this is just a single story building all right so let's proceed to Prota structure 2021 all right so at this point now to ask for us to create a level you have to navigate i'll click on the stories right click and then click on insert stories just as you have calculated over here i will be having a level here okay which is the first level i'm having another level here which is second level i have another level here which is third level i also be having another level here which is third, uh, first second third fourth and fifth level okay so in this structure i will be having level one two three four and five levels okay so this five this uh, first level fifth level is the roof level all right so let's see it so over here key in five so after we click on the okay options so once you click on the okay option you see in the structural three provisions these provisions you see all the levels is being level here yeah? successfully i have zero one up to five levels successfully i will navigate back to the populated level which is the story one level okay so i will go back also to the stories click right there right click now to get these options yeah you can still have these options if you pass through this uh, provision where you see story here in this uh, panel and then select in these provisions you still have this uh, you know options as well okay so i will go through these provisions and i'll go to edit stories this time around so you see these are the first to fifth story we have here okay and the default story height is three meter all right so but at the story one what will be having since that place is dpc we first of all consider our foundation depth okay so we'll be using foundation depth of one meter all right so this is from the uh the edge the foundations uh from the foundation to the surface of the edge from the depth of the foundation to the surface of the edge where you have grasses you have a one meter all right so from the from the one meter to where you have the floor of the building okay is what i will be setting out here to be i will set that out to be 450 here okay then since i've set out 450 here first story bottom level is going to be zero because first of all, we are supposed to take that this 450, but I want it to be a I want it to be a a kind of a levels. I want it to be a form of a levels. You should be able to understand what I meant. Okay. So the second story now is going to take the landing of the staircase. So the landing of the staircase now is taken as a story. So I'll be having the landing to be 1.6. Okay, 1,600 millimeters. Okay, from this uh, 450 level then then uh the next level we'll be having is going to be 1400 you know the total height of the stories okay let me bring that up again the total height of the stories from this uh uh from this place to this particular place first floor is three meter so if i have from the normal floor level here normal uh, floor level of the building to the landing to be six 1600 okay what is left to make it uh 3000 will be having like a 1400 right 1400 okay 
so let's get back there we'll minimize this and then we we'll key in 1400 here 1400 here just like this okay so the next story the next story we are going to be considering another 1600 for the staircase okay because i said earlier that we i want to make it a two-story building although what we have in this uh what we have in this uh in this image is just a story okay but i will make it a two-story so i want to show you the right way to do it okay so now over here we we'll still have 1600 now you'll be asking what is this for this 1600 is for the landing of the next story that makes it two story the landing of the staircase to the next uh, floor which is the second floor okay so if you have that to be this then the next one will we have to be is going to be 1400 all right 1400 just like this so after you must have having this done like this the next story is supposed to be the roof all right it's supposed to be the roof level and so for the roof level now you we need to create another story okay which is going to be story six and that one is going to be three meter from this floor because this is the second floor now this is the second floor that is why if you sum up all of this you will be having like eight eight uh, eight meters all right so that is how it works from this this and this give us three meters this and this give us three meters that is what six meters all right all right so so you can see after key in the last the second floor so this is the second floor all right you can see the total height of the story now is 6450 millimeter which is 6.46 uh, meters height all right so i will have to click on the ok options and then i will go and create additional one story which is going to take us to the roof beam all right i click on ok options right there and then i come to this provision so i click and then click on the insert story this time around i want to be adding additional six story I click right there then if i go to the uh edit story dialog in this provision you see i'm still having it at as a 1400 list but since we don't have any uh any story ahead of this we should just have to key in three meter okay so this three meter is from the floor of the second levels so it's on the floor of the uh, second floor to the roof level all right so after which this is okay i will click on the okay options then i will navigate to story one on this story one now i won't be having beams here because story one is just like it's just like this provisions where i have uh, this you know this is a is this not a reinforced concrete slab okay this is just a, a mass concrete mass concrete okay this one so this level now is the first floor level i'm talking about all right so i'll minimize this okay so at this first floor level what i need to have here is uh, is just um, a mass concrete just as i said so i will be going to the modeling type right there I click on the slab all right so in this slab dialog i will have a thickness of the mass concrete to be 150 and then I'll go to loads for the additional dead load i'll have it as two kilonewton per square meter then for the imposed load is just a residential house so i'll use this after which i'll go back to the general tab right there so i will be using instruction method to insert the to insert the the mass concrete slab all right so i will click in these provisions and then i use uh pick point i will use that so i'll pick this point I'll pick this point pick this point pick this point to insert it just like this so I need a mass concrete just like this so the next one I'll be having again to make sure that it covers these columns very well I will come to these provisions and then I'll click right there I'll select this 
I'll go back to cantilever because this is just like a cantilever slapped. The length of it, I will be using just 300, just like this. Okay, after which I pick this point, I pick this other point, place it here, just like this. Okay, place it here. All right, so I will also have it here. So I will have this as my floors. Okay, my floors. So after which I have to click and close this dialog. After closing this dialog, I want to be taking this columns only the columns i want to be taken to the next floor which is the level two okay i'm taking the column to the next floor which is the level two so for me to do that i will uh, navigate the columns and make it active just like this by expanding it click the first one and then hold the shift key select the last columns just like this i'm sending these columns from the foundations to the first to, to the second level okay that second level now is the sorry i'll be sending it to the third level because the third level is the first floor all right the third level is this first floor this place is the third level okay this is the second level the second level is for the landing it's just for the landing of the staircase that takes you to the first floor I believe that is understood if you are having any difficulties drop a comment at this comment sections and i will uh, actually attend to that okay and again don't forget to like and subscribe let's make progress so i will be you know uh, generating this to that level three so see me do it i will select that come to these provisions building set out and navigate to building story here yeah? and then i click in these provisions in this option uh I select generate stories so it's only the selected members only that I'm, I'll be generating from the story one okay to story three this story three is the first floor level while story two is the uh, landing of the staircase that goes to story three right there click on the OK options and then yes options so that is being generated successfully all right so if you are now on story three you see all the columns are here okay just like this now there's one thing let's go to 3d and see what is happening so now we get to the 3d right there and this so you have this happening like this why this cut halfway is because at this level where this column stop is the landing that is actually taking the you know the, res the residents to the first floor all right so we want to be taking this down this column will take it straight away down on top of this column that is at this uh, uh, DPC level right there. So I will get all of this column selected like just like this. All is not selected. Okay. So just make sure you select all just like this. Then right click and then click on each property in the property dialog just like this. Okay. Come to this provision where you have less story. Click right there and then key in two right there once you key into i want to be shifting this so that you can see the effect it's going to move the columns down i click on okay options you can see all the columns are being moved down close options to close the column table like dialog so we now have this okay so if i should navigate to story two now so you can see where story two is at this level it is the landing level okay of the resident that want to move to the first floor level which is level three just like this okay so i believe this is understood well understood okay so after which at this story now we are going to be adding our beams that will be carrying these lamps okay so for all to do that you have to navigate to the floor level let's add it at the floor level just like this okay so for the beams you navigate to the modeling tab okay so and then you activate the beams this one so in the beam dialog you will need to give a beam the thickness we have a beam we're having two beams one beam is going to be two to five width the other beam is going to be 150 so we'll first go by two to five just like this and then for the depth we'll be having 450 depth of the beam okay just like this after which we are going to connect this to this to this to this and to this so these are the external uh, beams okay for the internal beams we are having there this one that will connect this and this okay it's going to be 150 because the column section here is 150 by 300 so we change the sections here to 150 just like this 
and then we'll still be having the same depth it is not an issue so we have to connect this beam to this all right connect this one to this one like this okay so we have this beam also connected to this we have this one also connected to this all right then we have another beam uh here this beam now receives the uh the going of the staircase this one receives the going of the staircase all right we will look at that subsequently so after being placed the beam just like this also at this level i want to be informing you that we have a cantilever here the cantilever is extended from this point to this particular uh exist a exist number a okay so for the for this provision we'll be having the 150 connected this way that is a cantilever you can see the sign here this one simply means a cantilever sign so from this side this column section it is 450 so we will change this to 450 two to five sorry column section is two to five so we'll change it to two to five then we'll have a cantilever here as well so we we'll also be having a cantilever also here that will connect to these columns all right this cantilever is going to connect to this uh, cantilever sorry this beam is going to connect to this cantilever but what we are going to do let's escape this we'll be having a series of beams here so that this beam will not be too slender all right so for us to effect that we change this provision to 150 and then you connect this as a cantilever beam here all right also connect this as also a cantilever beam here so with this now we can now be able to connect this to this just like this and to this mind you this wall is 150 okay 150 millimeter so you can see it is 150 by 450 we'll also be connecting this to this just like this and then we close that okay so having done this successfully we want to be shifting these beams so that it aligns with degree lines a for us to do that successfully we will have to use the arrow key the up arrow key on the keyboard to do that you can see the beam that is selected is moving you can see it so i want to take it i've taken it to be in line with grey lines a all right i'll close this dialog right away all right so i'll do the same to these other beams just like this okay i'm using the up arrow on the keyboard just like this okay so after having done this this is just the cantilever that we have all right so if you check it at 3d levels uh navigate to 3d you will be having something of this kind so this is what we actually expected so you can see how it is so this is it all right and the next thing we will be doing we are going to be inching this structure all right so we navigate to the plan view of this structure all right so if you notice this beam this particular beam i selected is discontinuous going to the left hand side but it's continuous going to the right hand side so this one and this one this one all of this beam consists of a continuous beam but going to the left is discontinuous so we are going to anchor it to this column 3c1 okay so select the beam right click and then navigate to where you have update beam end condition so we update it to the left hand side so click on that and then apply to selected beams just like this so this is updated successfully the same thing this one is discontinuous both up and down so we are going to anchor it to the column up and as well the column downward so you go to the beam and conditions update and then for both ends inch okay apply it just like this so the same thing is applicable to this all right if you have any questions just drop it at the comment sections and then i will answer to your question and don't forget to like and subscribe okay so this beam is continue this way this continue the other way so this one is the same thing so we are going to hold the control keys to be able to select multiple of that and including this one all right after which we also have to select this because this is also in the same uh direction and orientation so we right click we are inching this at the up so we comes to the way to this uh, right hand side click on that apply to the selected section just like this we have inched that successfully so this one also we are going to inch both sides so we use the both end inch options this one and then apply to selected beam all right so i think this is done okay we need to inch this one to the right okay so go right there use the right provisions just like this okay so after we must have done the inches the next thing is to place the slab reinforced concrete slab so you activate the reinforced concrete slab right there and then the slab thickness we'll be considering is 150 millimeter solid slab 
okay i'll go to load for my additional date load i add it to be uh two kilonewton per square meter for partitions and finishes and then i'll click right right there and then it's a residential uh, building so the, for the instruction method i will not be using pick point again this time around i'll use beam region so i'll select this and select this i'll have a slab here here also I have a slab here here and yeah this provision is for the stairway take note all right so there will be no reinforced concrete slab here after which i will have to close this dialog and then let's navigate to the 3d and then we view what we have done so far so we have something of this kind all right so after us having this now we want to navigate to the story tool which is the landing of the staircase that connect this uh, first floor all right and then so that we can be able to uh, set out the um can be able to set out this stairway successfully so i would double click right there to get to this uh, level so i will enable the plan view of that level two which is the landing level so we have the stairway this way this way landing and then up to the first floor okay so i'll click on this slab so i will be using slab thickness of i'll be using uh, the thickness to be 170 five like this okay so for the loadings for the stair additional load i can use 2.5 okay and then for the imposed load of this lab uh, of the stairs i will use 2.5 here as well this one just like this okay after which i'll go back to this provisions for the instruction method for the instruction method i will be using uh pick axis but we are supposed to let me close this we are supposed to set our we are supposed to set uh, okay we can go by this provisions the all of these provisions will be a stairway okay the all of this provision will be a stairway and then this is a landing and this is another stairway going to the first floor so we'll go back to the slab again and activate that just change it to 175 and then to come to loadings we we'll have two 0.5 there and then come to the impose loads we also use 2.5 options okay general right there and then for the instruction method we can use pick point that will be fine pick point or pick axis let's use pick point and then we pick this point this point this point and this point to have our first going then this is a landing this time around this year and yeah this is a landing okay all right so you have to clear this point picked it again one two three four that is it clear this one then pick this one again this is also a going to the first floor one two three and four that is it so we close this dialogue so after having placed your your stair like this if you view it in 3d right away you will have it just like this so you can see it just like this all right so for the inclinations we are going to incline it to the ground level so this is the uh, normal floor level of the building so we are going to be inclining it here right there okay which is the level one so for us to carry out the inclining what we need to do is uh, at first we have to generate this building we need to generate this structure before we do the inclination we generate this structure from the story tree to so to the second floor so because this is the first floor we take it to the second floor and mind you our second floor is going to be at uh, story five story five is our second floor so story three is the first floor story five is our second floor this one okay so we are generating this to that okay so we come to this provision select there you must make sure you are at the active story you want to generate all right you are at the active story you want to generate okay so after you must have been there which is story three you navigate to uh generate story so we are generating from story three all the way to story five okay just like this and then click on the okay options to get it generated successfully click on the yes options to get it generated successfully right so i will click on this so you can see it's been generated successfully so this is the first this is what the first story right this one is the first story and this one is the second story 
we have the third story which is the story six to be the roof level all right so we have not added the wall load on this uh, first floor okay we need a wall load on these beams all right so what we need to do is we navigate to the story three which is the first floor okay this is the first floor and then after which we select one of these beams this is this uh, external beams okay uh 225 okay so the wall load is going to be 225 applied successfully so come to edit come to edit beam wall load so in these provisions the unit weight of the 225 block is 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 3.47 okay so the height of the story we consider is 3 meter all right so you key in 3 meter right there so for the wall thickness we consider is 2 to 5 0 0.225 okay now the question is do we have openings yes we have openings but we will do that individually okay we will do that individually so click on okay at first to, to be able to have this uh this wall load on this okay so with this now we can select this again right click and then we copy this copy wall load just like this select this external beams this one all the control key so you can select them successfully just like this all of these ones all of these ones this one this one and this one now right click and then paste we are going to paste now so you use these options paste or you can use control v yes options to have that just like this don't mind we will open the windows in the provided uh positions successfully okay so after which we'll be adding wall load on this okay mind you the wall unit weight of a two to a, of a 150 block is different from that of from that of the two to five blocks so we first uh, select one of these and then we right click and then we edit the beam wall load so in this provisions the wall unit weight is supposed to be 2.5 just like this and then the height of the story is three meter normal three meter and then we have here to be 150 okay just like this all right after we click on the okay options to have this just the way it is like this so we'll be applying this to all of these walls okay so what we need to do is just have to copy this wall load like this select these beams hold the control key select this and this okay after which we may not have we not be having walls on these beams so there's no need placing walls on them it's only the standard beams we're having walls this is a 225 so we will add a 225 wall to it while these walls is 150 so you should understand it okay after which click on the uh paste yes options to have that just like this so for this is a 225 so we can select any of this and then copy the beam wall load and then we apply it here while we paste it just like this yes options just like this okay so this is what we have here all right so this is the first floor this one is the second floor all right this one is the second floor okay then the last one is the roof so the last one we are going to have is the roof so we are going to be generating from this story five to story six successfully we are generating from story five to story six successful successfully so we navigate to story five to make it active so we want to get our roof beam now so for us to do that effectively we just need to navigate there and then go to the story and then you click on to generate right click and then select the general story options and then we are taking it from story 5 to story 6 all right so we will not have slab there we will not have all of this because it's a roof level all right we will not have all of this there okay because it's a roof level so after which click on the okay options and yes options you closed so you have something of this kind okay so this one now is a roof level so the beams here will be changing from 450 to 300 successfully all right changing from 450 to 300 successfully don't mind we'll work on the stairway okay so let's complete this at first don't forget to like and subscribe successfully okay so at this time we will be looking at the roof beams at this level six okay or story six select one of the beams come down hold the shift key select the last one right click and then click on it property the beam property is we notice the depth is 450 we change it because it's a roof beam to 300 successfully just like this and then click on the okay options 
after which give it some seconds for it to change successfully you can see it has changed click on the close options so after which we'll be also be having a wall load just as we have just as we, as we have it the first floor we we'll having it on the second floor successfully all right so for us to do that we will just have to you know set the columns if you notice select this column the column has gone down because we set it to be length story two that's why it has moved down up to this point okay but we don't want it to move down to this point we want it to start to stop on the top of this so this column has entered inside this one which is not normal so let us adjust that successfully get all the columns at this level selected just like this right click and then click on it property where you have a length story this place you have length story it is two so click on this provisions and change it to one and then click on the ok options and then you can have this change to one successfully click on close you see it's been adjusted now it's directly on top of the uh, second floor uh, columns you can see it there right there so after which the next thing we need is to add our wall load just as we added it here so we can just click on this maybe we copy this wall load right there and then we pick this with the control key right there make sure you pick the beams successfully the beams we are not going to pick this one because this one is two to five so right click and then you click on the paste options and then yes options to have the wall loads being applied like that okay and also we need a slab at this level we have we haven't instructed slabs okay we have slab here already okay so for the two to five by 450 beams we select this one this is two to five right click and copy the property okay of the uh, wall loads hold the control key so you can select sorry not this one select this one this this or the outer beam just like this and then right click and then click on paste right there yes options so you have something of this kind please if you have yet to like the lesson kindly like the lesson and do it to subscribe all right so we have gotten the first floor and as well as the second floor just like this of this structure successfully so what we're we looking at now is the uh is the uh stairway okay so for this stairway we will be looking at it in the next lesson so don't forget to like and subscribe so that when the next lesson will come you will also get informed and see how we can carry out the CIA successfully and then we carry out analysis design as well as the foundations and generate the drawings in the second lesson of this particular uh, lesson so stay tuned and stay connected don't forget to leave question at the comment sections and like the lesson subscribe as well thank you for staying to the lesson bye for now